I'm Janet Ward, and I'm delighted to be here. Doris Haddock, probably better known as Granny D, said that democracy is not something we have. It is something we do. For 40 years, the New Hampshire Humanities Council has done something quite extraordinary. It has connected thousands of New Hampshire citizens of all ages from all walks of life to ideas which have enlivened and enriched our democratic way of life. It has done this in creative and exciting ways through a rich tapestry of programs addressing the ever-present need for thoughtful civil reflection on an amazing variety of issues. It has been my joy and privilege to work with the Council on some of those outstanding programs. When Humanities Director Kathy Mathis asked me if I would be willing to share a key moment when I realized that the humanities would be pivotal in my life and work, a vivid memory sparked in my mind. One spring day in 1985, as I was driving home from Henniker, New Hampshire, where I directed an enrichment program, I became so fascinated by a New Hampshire public radio interview that I pulled off the road to concentrate on what I was hearing. A physicist and a philosopher were discussing their recently published book, The New Story of Science. In the preface to their book, Nobel Prize winning neuroscientist Sir John Eccles wrote, by a story is meant a cosmic worldview of a civilization. The universal framework in which all else is understood and evaluated. For a very long time, that universal framework held that the sun revolved around the earth. Galileo and other scientific pioneers nudged the earth into a new orbit, and human beings were challenged to create a new cosmic story. The authors of the new story of science believed that the worldview arising out of our growing understanding of quantum physics was subtly but powerfully changing the story that human beings were telling themselves about the ultimate nature of matter and energy and their own role in the universe. But wait, wasn't that philosophy's role? And wasn't philosophy one of the humanities? Suddenly, the vital connection between the sciences and the humanities came alive for me. How does each of us decide what and who we are and how we ought to act in this world? Each one of us has his or her own story, whether we have consciously crafted it or have absorbed our story from influence outside of ourselves. Our stories shape our decisions and our actions. Our stories are made up of ideas, the immaterial, powerful stuff of Humanities Council programs. I realized that I wanted to be engaged in connecting people with ideas that would enrich their inner stories. So, as a complete novice, in program creation and grant writing, I approached the New Hampshire Humanities Council with what I thought was a really interesting idea. A summer seminar program, the Scientist as Humanist Project. The seminar offered teachers ways to integrate the teaching of the sciences and the humanities so that students would understand how these disparate disciplines interconnect with one another in essential and revealing ways. The New Hampshire Humanities Council is a vital catalyst, making possible unique experiences that deepen and inform our humanity. I am so grateful to have been a part of this organization, and I am confident that it has ahead of it decades of future programs worth celebrating. Thank you.